Army is the Army, so we'll blast from the stage DM. And today we're here to check out a video that a lot of you guys have been sending me. It's called 10 Hidden Pokemon Gold Secrets Finally Revealed. It is by none other than my favorite top channel, The Richest. So if you guys want to watch this original video, because as you guys already know, we just chop a good amount of parts out. The link should be in the description down below. If you guys want to watch the rest of the video, make sure to click them shits and watch it on their channel via the link down below. Let go. Pokemon Go has become the most popular mobile app in 2016. Even though there are millions playing the game, it doesn't mean that everyone knows what they're doing. That's so Here are 10 true, Pokemon yo. Go secrets you didn't know. Curveball. The fuck? Once you've mastered being able to throw the Pokeball with a simple flick, it's time to try out the Curve Ball. What you do is press and hold the Pokeball, then drag and spin the ball into a circle until it starts spinning and sparkling. Where you would normally throw the ball straight, flick it more to the right, and repeat this until you capture the Pokemon. Once you master this technique, you'll get an extra 10 experience points, which will add up quickly. Oh, shit. I thought that that would make you more likely to catch the damn Pokemon. But if that's the case, that shit seemed way too difficult for me to do that. If all it does is just look cute out this bitch. Pikachu. Haven't started playing Pokemon Go yet? Here's how you capture Pikachu, the most well-known and popular Pokemon. Okay, okay, so I'm gonna guess right now, because I think I might have heard this before. If you start the game and you don't choose any Pokemon off rip, if you just keep walking around, you'll run into a Pikachu. That's what I heard. I could be wrong. We're going to see if I wasn't. Playing the app, you'll get a set of starter Pokemon, such as Squirtle, Bulbasaur, and Charmander. Instead of catching one of them, walk away. You'll get yeah. another alert for the Pokemon once again. Walk away five times, and then Pikachu will appear as your new fancy Yo, that's starter what's Pokemon. Up. See, that's the fuck I'm talking about. Yo, that's a secret. That's good shit. I have not started playing Pokemon Go yet, really, aside from like just enough to do like the skits I've already done on it, which the link will be in the description down below if you guys want to watch the Pokemon Go skit that I did. It actually turned out really fucking well. A lot of people loved it. A lot of people are telling me that it's far better than any other Pokemon Go skit. But uh, yeah, yeah man, you know, if you guys want to watch uh, the skit that I did with the homies, it's, it's in the description. Pick your evolution. Eevee has three evolutions, Vaporeon, Jolteon, and Flareon. Those who've been evolving their Eevees manually have depended on the luck of the draw to see which ones they want. But there is actually a way to pick your preferred evolution. Think back to the trainers from the original television show, Rainer, Pyro, and Sparky. If you want a Vaporeon, name your Eevee Rainer. If you want a Flareon, name your Eevee Pyro. And if you want a Jolteon, name that Eevee Sparky. What? This secret has been tested and trained by other players, and it turns out to be true. You lying! Dude, if that's the fucking case, like, I, like, I'm trying to figure out why this video has hardly any dislikes on it, when, like, because I figured a lot of these would be bullshit, but these are really good freaking secrets. Like, no one knows a lot of this shit. Like, that's crazy. Tracking. The tracking If you click what? on the window of the lower right, you'll see a grid with nearby Pokemon listed, with a set of paw prints underneath each one. If there's nothing under the image, then the Pokemon is practically underneath you and very close. Or, if there is only one paw print, it means the Pokemon is nearby. The Pokemon on the top left is the closest to you, and the ones on the lower right are the furthest from you. Select the Pokemon you want to find, and this will help you gauge whether or not you're heading in the right direction hey! of the desired Pokemon. If the Pokemon you desire moves closer to the left, you're heading in the right direction. If it moves to the right, then you're going the wrong way. Though this won't work until the dreaded three steps glitch has been fixed. What the fuck is a three steps glitch? What is that? And that's actually some really useful information, man. I'm a use all of this shit when I finally start playing. What I'm also going to do is, you know, because you guys already know I'm going to uh, chop a good amount of parts out and I leave like two entire facts out of this. So if you guys want to watch the whole thing, you guys got to go to the original uh, link and watch it from him. But uh, I'm going to continue watching this shit after I turn this off from y'all though. Getting more Pokemon. Getting more Pokemon. Every three to five minutes, a new Pokemon in a Yeah, right. Optimal catching my ass, man. Fuck around and get into a fight. <laughs> over who gets to catch the goddamn Pikachu out this bitch. Appear, and there's a good chance that a rare one might make an appearance as well. Along with a lure, you can use an incense. All you need to do is sit and wait, and the Pokemon will literally come right to you. Catching harder Damn. Pokemon. 
This can be really frustrating, especially if you encounter a rare Pokemon that just keeps breaking free of its Pokeball. But once you hit level 6, you'll be able to obtain Raspberries, which will calm the Pokemon down somewhat and give you a better chance for capture and containment. On top of this, at higher levels, you'll obtain Great and Ultra Balls to help trap those pesky Pokemon. Pokestop? Man, this shit really gonna make me start playing this shit, yo. I re Bruh, I feel like if I do, I'm not gonna be able to work, man. Fuck! I'm probably going to download this shit today. ...and Ingress. So, if you're an Ingress player and you see a portal on your map, they translate to Pokestops. Also, did you know that Pokestops refresh after five minutes? So there's no need to just use a Pokestop once. Gym oh, battle. Oh, shit, for real? Most players think that CP, or combat power, makes the final decision on whether or not your Pokemon can beat the dominator of a gym. That's not quite the case if you know the loophole. When you battle your enemy, you have the ability to dodge left or right and avoid enemy attacks. The enemies you battle are fighting you using artificial intelligence, therefore don't have the ability to dodge. Not to mention that you can see your opponent and you can pick six different Pokemon to battle. By strategically selecting your Pokemon, for example, using your Charmander, Fire, to beat a Bulbasaur, or Grass, you have a better chance of victory and taking over the gym. Okay, yep. Yeah. All right, it's official. I'm gonna start playing the shit probably today. God damn it! I knew I shouldn't have checked out this fucking video. Shit! That's all bad. Again, if you guys wanna watch the skit that me and the homies did that a lot of you guys tend to really love, I didn't think it was that good, but a lot of you guys really loved it, and I think it was a lot better than I thought it was, you know, because my own opinion on what shit is good or funny is all the way fucked. So the link to them shits in the description down below if you want to watch a funny Pokemon Go skit. I suggest you go do that because this shit is fucking funny. Also, if you guys haven't watched this original video, it is by The Richest. We tend to chop a good amount of parts out. So the link for the entire video is in the description down below, you know, because we even left out the last two um, facts. So if you want to watch all of them, you're going to have to watch it on, uh, on the original video from the link in the description. Now, Blast from Sage D. You know, you guys go have a great day and don't drive while you catch the fucking Pokemon, man. People, people always die from that shit. Twisms.